hot together build with four CCs about five minutes. Oh my god. Yes, the habitation station build. Oh, that was beautiful. It was 3 and 0 versus Grandmasters, 78% on the ladder. You know how hard it is to get anything to go above 60%? Because you naturally face people at your own level. But that habitation station build was so sick. That's the only build I think that had might have been legitimate for pro, like uh, for pros. The one of them took a look at it. It was just so crazy strong. With a gold base, <laughs> like you CC first with the gold too, and it's safe. It's hilarious. Yeah, you open four command center, and it may be the safest build I've ever had, even though I'm going four command center. Because you have like a planetary and a wall with big structures, so you're bailing bus proof, and a bunker and a wrap, all while expanding like crazy. Oof, that was a good times. I miss those days. Not enough minerals. Night Lord. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. I don't know Not if you can watch me. Minerals. I started drinking mint tea. That's probably like a sacrilege to a tea connoisseur. Not enough minerals. All right, put the barracks there to block the reaper. Not enough minerals. Additional supply depots required. It's a dead beaver on the pool table. Uh, without looking. I would say definitely yes. Not enough minerals. I am Canadian. It is our national animal. Oh no, it's a... Uh... Fuck, what's that Japanese character? Not Hadoku, but something like that. Hmm. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Earl Grey. As much as I like Captain Picard, I don't have a taste for Earl Grey. It's, it's just a little... It's got a bit of a weird bite to it. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like English breakfast tea that went bad. Base is under attack. You want to survive that? Oh my god. How do I not get that kill? Insufficient Vespine gas. Oh, I already had high sec done, or started at least. I guess we're delaying high sec. We'll be done in time for the starport units whenever they arrive. The reason I go high sec before planetary is 
So it's done for the first starport unit, whether it's Medivac or Banshee or Liberator. Command center upgrade. But starting it now, it's not gonna work. Additional supply depots required. I can't build here. He sells a reaper. Additional supply depots required. There's an area. I saw one. Our SCP is on the attack. Insufficient Vespine gas. I can't build here. Research complete. I mean, I did have Isaac done in time because that was not a fast starport unit. So, spill deviation turned out okay. Insufficient Vespine gas. Mineral field depleted. Let's try for a gold base. I feel like the top right is too obvious, and it's more likely to get scouted. Let's get structure armor. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals.
Upgrade complete. Mineral field depleted. Our SC base is under attack. attack. Mineral field. It's not that big. It's not even that many marines, so I can play right over it. Command center upgrade complete. Command center upgrade complete. Hmm. Base is under attack. Upgrade complete. is under attack. Mineral field depleted. Add on complete. Unacceptable landing zone. Not enough mineral. How many times have I had to cancel that? Oh, that's not bio. Mineral field. Base is under attack. Out my heart and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, mm. nevermore. Ked Kappa. Landing zone. Ked Kappa indeed.
Really? Command center upgrade complete. So our economy was going great, but he kind of got to the part where double planetaries were a joke for him. So, uh, it's very cutting through my bases. Luckily, I was always building command centers, so I had more to send out. But my economy is like going insanely well, and he's stuck on tier one tech. I feel like it should be an auto victory and it almost turned around for him. I mean, nothing to deal with there. I kind of had nothing to deal with ground though, because auto turrets is so bad versus marauders and tanks that I was kind of forced to use seeker missile that does nothing. which was killing his marines off, but his marauders and tanks always survived. So he had this like army that would instantly evaporate in the auto turret I put down, but couldn't shoot at my ravens. So it's kind of weird like that. All right, could we stop right here? It's going so well for me. I got planetary set up. Double planetary at the forward bases. We're on five bases. He's barely taking, he's barely started his fourth. But then he starts cutting down bases. Right? And then he cuts down my north base. Right there. Or does he take one more? I can't even remember. No, that's it. All right, so he's got me down to my original three bases and just setting up a fourth. Meanwhile, he's on four, taking a fifth, taking a sixth. I guess I'm kind of taking this. So things turned around, kind of. This is the army I'm talking about. Like over a page of marauders plus siege tanks. But his marine count is what? 16. I mean, one. All that early focus firing of Medivax kind of paid off, though. His uh, army was way overstimmed.
know what's funny? <laughs> Stim does more damage than Seeker Missile does now <laughs> to his own units. Stim takes 20 hit points off a of Marauder. Seeker Missile only takes off 15. just doesn't really exist anymore. I didn't know he had the bottom base. Oh, I wasn't actually going to kill this. It's going to head back north again. But we're establishing a lot of bases again. This one's done. This one's almost done. This one almost certainly get up. <laughs> 